Let's work on this Nintendo Switch before I go home. I did not have a chance to record the video today. And just when I was about to leave, the mailman came in. So I thought, let me open up one of the packages and maybe we can do a quick repair before I go home. And it turns out that this customer mailed his Nintendo Switch already opened. So let's just take a quick look at it and see if it's something we can figure out quick. If not, then we're going to have to leave this until tomorrow. I honestly did not read what the customer wrote, but battery is connected. If we press the power button, nothing shows up. And if we plug the charging cable, what do we get? Charging cable shows the switch is not charging. It's a black screen. I'm not seeing anything on the screen. Nothing. Let me do quick measurements. I may end up not posting this video if I do not have anything useful to show. I do not want to make it short and nothing useful to show. So let's test near the M92 chip. Do we have a short here? No, here, 0 0.354 voltage drop, no shorts, no short, and no short. So this area is good. I want to quickly measure the charging connector area and see if voltage is reaching. I just plugged the cable right here. And do we have any voltage reaching this component here? And we have 12 volts, so voltage is reaching. And if we measure the other side, we also have 12.2 volts, which is good. So we know that the problem is not the charging port. We know the problem is likely not the M92. And we know the problem is not likely the P13 chip that's on back of the board. Because if there's any short on P13, it will also short out this area here or even those caps. But right now, I'm not seeing anything obvious. Not on M92, not on P13, and not on the charging port. We are left with this area that I want to check quickly. And look at that. We already see a capacitor that does not look good. But that does not mean that the cap is not good. Let me do a quick measurement here in diode mode. 0 0.49 voltage drop. That's good. 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 This cap is connecting with the chip and we have a short. It's either the cap or the chip. And based on the look of the cap, I think it's the cap itself and not the chip. I do see some scratch marks here. So it may be that the customer noticed this cap and he tried to scratch it. Let's remove the cap and see if that's the problem. If not, then it's likely the chip. And I'm going to have to leave it until tomorrow because we have to disassemble the board in order to remove the chip. I do not want to burn any nearby components such as the flex, the battery, the plastic casing. Can we desolder this cap using our hot tweezers? I highly doubt it because the cap is very big. And honestly, I do not want to use hot air so we do not affect anything else in the surrounding like the battery, flex cable and the plastic housing so what we're gonna do is use a tiny bit of low melt solder and we should be able to do it that way if that board was outside the housing then we can just use hot air to remove the cap but right now we do not want to do that let's use low melt solder You see? Look at that. Look at that. Amazing. The power of low melt. We do not need the cap even if it's good because it does not look good. So we're going to replace it anyway. But for now, let's see if we still have a short meter in diet mode. And the short is gone. Look at that. Look at that, the short is gone. We are reading 0 0.349 voltage drop, awesome. 
we're gonna grab that cap from a donor board. Right here. We have a good looking one right here. But before we do so, let's prep the board. So let's grab the capacitor from this donor board and this time we're gonna use our hot tweezers along with hot air. And just like that. And we're gonna solder that cap right over here. Beautiful. That's it. Let's see. Well, the switch power on. I have it plugged in and look at that, it's charging. Before it was displaying a black screen, but now it's charging. Charging alone is not enough. We need to see something on the screen. And right there, right there. <laughs> Switch is on. That was a quick one and a great end of the day. Fume extractor off. That's it. That was a quick one, short video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.